Good morning, everyone. Um, here I am in Boston. I just found uh, an office here in my hotel room, and I thought recording a video here for you all today. And something I'd like to share with you all is that last week I found out that Firefox is actually, not Firefox, but Mozilla is actually using PHP and PAST and PHP Insights and PHP STEM. And I found that very interesting. So I thought making a video about that so you can see a little bit my opinion about this. So the website is what, what train is it now? And it pretty much gives you insights about the beta and lightly releases of Firefox. Okay, and I went to the website, actually the open source version of the website, and I found out that is under uh, Mozilla releases underscore insights, and it's pretty much a website written in plain PHP. So that was the first surprise that I found out, is that it doesn't actually use any uh, framework. It's pretty much basic PHP. And when I went to the composer.json, I saw some of the packages being used by this interesting project. Uh, one of them is PHP Stan. You probably know that I'm a big PHP, PHP Stan user. Um, gives you a lot of insights in general about uh, the various things in your project. One example that I have here for you all is that sometimes you are trying to JSON decode, for example, something that you assume to be a valid string or a valid JSON. And you just try to access the key, for example, from that JSON, but PHP Stand is telling you that um, the offset key does not exist on no. So he knows in advance that this thing is not a valid JSON. Uh, therefore, the JSON decode will, will return no. Um, and because of that, the key um, the key does not exist on null, which is very interesting. So I'm a big PHP Stan user. You may probably know me from the Laravel community. So check out Laravel Stan to see um, or to start using PHP Stan on Laravel. Other project that I think and I I know that I got a lot of very surprised of is Patrol. Okay, so probably most of you don't know what Patrol is, but is this PHP package that I have created, I don't know, probably two, three years ago, which is kind of something like Composer outdated, but with a better UI and some insights about uh, security issues. So you can just launch Patrol. Um, you, first of all, you install Patrol in a project, of course, with a dash dash dev dependent flag dependency, and then you run Patrol in a project and you get this very beautiful insight about uh, which packages are outdated, which packages need a new major version thanks to this red flag right here. So I think it's a very useful package and I'm glad to see that they are also using at Mozilla Patrol. Then we have PHP Insights, uh, which is another, another package of mine. I don't use it that much, but I, see, well, I know that the, the, the package is very popular because at this moment I think it has like more than 5,000 GitHub stars, but also uh, the downloads are like uh, nearly 5 million. So um, it's a very cool project, gives you good insights about how are you structuring your in architecturing your application, um, gives you metrics about code complexity, uh, architecture, the overall style. So I think it's, it's a cool package and also glad to see that it's been used at Mozilla. Then they, they also use past PHP. Uh, to be honest, it's not, it's not like a big surprise in the sense that a lot of big companies are using past PHP now is, um, is a very good testing framework. Obviously, I'm behind the project and um, I know that past PHP offers at this moment features that no other framework offers. So it's not that big as a, as a surprise. I know that past PHP growth uh, it doesn't stop here. It will continue to grow and hopefully uh, more people will adopt PAST in the future. And yeah, um, just to finish out the video, I also see that they are using SPAS, a lot of Ignition, which is uh, the package used by um, Laravel in terms of um, give you beautiful error reporting on the browser. So glad to see uh, that they are using as well Laravel Ignition. And yeah, they're using pretty much no framework, just a regular tweak, which is something like Blade, but for Symfony and native PHP projects. 
So yeah, that's it. That's it for the video today. I hope you guys enjoy it and see you all next time.